Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitend Pandey and in this lecture we will discuss issues facing computer forensics. The issues facing computer forensics examiners can be broken down into three broad categories that are technical, legal and administrative. We will start with technical issues. The first type of technical issue is encryption. Encryption Encrypted data can be impossible to view without the correct key or password. Examiners should consider that the key or password may be stored elsewhere on the computer or on another computer which the suspect has access to. It could also reside in the volatile memory of a computer which is usually lost on computer shutdown. Second technical reason is increasing storage space. Storage media hold ever greater amount of data which for the examiners mean that their analysis computers need to have sufficient processing power and available storage capacity to efficiently deal with searching and analyzing large amount of data. Third technical issue is new technologies. Computing is a continuously evolving field with new hardware, software and operating systems emerging constantly. No single computer forensic examiner can be an expert on all areas, though they may frequently be expected to analyze something which they haven't previously encountered. In order to deal with this situation, the examiner should be prepared and able to test and experiment with the behavior of new technologies. Networking and sharing knowledge with other computer forensic examiners is very useful in this respect as it's likely someone else has already came across the same issue. And the fourth technical reason is anti-forensics. Anti-forensics is the practice of attempting to thwart computer forensics analysis. This may include encryption, the overwriting of data to make it unrecoverable, the modification of files metadata and file obfuscation. As with encryption, the evidence that such method have been used may be stored elsewhere on the computer or on another computer which the suspect has had access to. Now we'll discuss legal issues. Legal issues may confuse or distract from a computer examiner's finding. An example here would be the Trojan defense. A Trojan is a piece of computer code disguised as something being but which carries a hidden and malicious purpose. The lawyer may be able to argue that actions on computer were not carried out by a user but were automated by a Trojan without the user's knowledge. Such a Trojan defense has been successfully used even when no trace of a Trojan or other malicious code was found on the suspect's computer. In such cases, a competent opposing lawyer supplied with evidence from a competent computer forensic analyst should be able to dismiss such an argument. A good examiner will have identified and addressed possible arguments from the opposition while carrying out the analysis and in writing their report. 
Now we'll discuss administrative issues. The first administrative issue is accepted standard. There is a plethora of standards and guidelines in computer forensics, few of which appears to be universally accepted. The reasons for this include standard setting bodies being tied to particular legislations, standards being aimed either at law enforcement or commercial forensics, but not at both. The authors of such standards not being accepted by their peers or high joining fee for professional bodies discourages practitioners from participating. And second administrative issue is fit to practice. In many jurisdictions, there is no qualifying body to check the competence and integrity of computer forensic professionals. In such cases, anyone may present themselves as a forensic computer forensic expert, which may result in computer forensic examination of questionable quality and a negative view of the profession as a whole.